Meet Max. Max is a leading expert in a private company. He's smart, hardworking and talented. Almost nothing can keep him from his work. Nothing except his workplace. Max's badly positioned desk brings him lots of problems during the day. And he's not the only one who faces spatial challenges at work. Gennady is the head of the company. He's waiting for Max to bring a report. The route to the director's office is an obstacle course. It's always hot in the sales department, cramped and noisy. The same can't be said about the logistics department. Yelena is nice and friendly, as usual. Of course, Max will try to raise the subject of making changes in the office. Rearranging the furniture would be a start. But Gennady is always interested in other stuff. How can Max represent the company's interests in such conditions? Our hero is very disappointed. He won't be able to finish the project on time and it will be reflected in his salary. Max's lack of motivation makes him forget about improving his results. But actually, this is all just one big bad dream because Max's real office is perfectly thought through. Max is going to the desk sharing zone to meet some colleagues to discuss their current project. The desk sharing zone has everything needed for mobile work. Max has a meeting with an important client. Movable partitions allow him to create just the right space, quickly and easily. It seems Max has good news for his boss. The negotiations went smoothly. Max goes to the coffee point, where hot coffee awaits him. He leans back in his chair. He's inspired by his success and ready for new projects. Space management entails analysis of business processes, concept development and zoning, design of workplaces and project implementation. A properly organized office space is a strategic management tool. An effective office allows business to be conducted smoothly and motivates personnel. Space management, creation of an effective office, developed by solo office interiors. <laughs>